Today I'm going to show you the fastest way I know to create content using AI and a few apps I'm sure you've never heard of. These apps have skyrocketed my productivity to the point where some of my clients say, wow, man, you, you work really fast. Obviously, I'm using AI and yes, they know I'm using AI, but it's not the AI that matters. It's how you use it. And today I'm going to reveal how I use it to create gargantuous, gargantuous amounts of content. And welcome back, my marketing buddies. My name is Jose Ricardo Rosado, and I run a marketing agency from a country most people can't place in the map, the Dominican Republic. And I would love it if you can like and share this video and occasionally leave a few comments. So let's get rolling. And the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to share my browser with you. And here you're going to see this beautiful prompt I devised. It's very simple because the purpose of the prompt is literally to analyze the writing style of an author. And I'm going to use my own content so you can see how this works. The way it works is by clicking copy and I'm going to open this very beautiful chat interface I have. It's called Raycast and you can like literally just go to raycast.com and download it. And of course they have a prize. It's $8 for using it pro with Pro, but if you want the advanced AI, it's $16, which is still cheaper than OpenAI's ChatGPT, Perplexity, and all of those apps combined. It really, it's a steal to say the least. Why? Because, because I can use all of these AIs that you can see right here. Cloud Sonnet, ChatGPT, I have, let's see, Llama, Sonar, Mistral, Gemini, Grok, and now DeepSeek, which is like one of the most intelligent AI ever produced. Anyhow, the next step is I'm going to paste this prompt right here and I'm going to find one of my writing examples. In this case, it's one of my own content. So let's go here. And all I'm going to do is literally just copy paste all of that content right there. Bam. And now you'll see that the AI will write what it thinks my writing style is. And I think it's really, really nice. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Beautiful. Now that I have this, all I have to do is now go to the other prompt I have, also copy it, beautiful. Now I'm going to copy this one and I'm going to create a new chat. Here, I am going to paste the prompt, bam. And if you're wondering how the hell can I copy and paste multiple things, Raycast, my friend, Raycast. I suggest you download it. Here, you're going to paste the specific writing style. And of course, I'm going to delete all of these things because I don't actually need it. Let's scroll up, let's delete these ones, scroll down, and I'm going to paste the writing example once again, meaning my own content. And with that, I am going to hit enter. And now it'll prompt me for some specific ideas. You see that? And let's say that I want it to write how to write the perfect Twitter X thread. Let's do that right now. And I'm going to use more AI to do this. Check this out. When I press the command option on my keyboard, it just enables dictation. So let's do that right now. I'm going to hit the command button and now I'm going to dictate everything. Check this out. Write about how to write the perfect X thread to get engagement, likes, shares, and comments. And now you'll see that it'll transcribe everything I just said, including the first few parts. So I'm going to delete all of these things. And before I show you what the AI can do, this is the app I'm using. Let me show you. The name is Mac Whisper. And the beauty about this is that you can literally drag and drop videos. Like for example, let's say that I have one of these YouTube videos and I want to transcribe it. I can just put it right there and it'll transcribe everything, everything for me. You see, this was a little test and it transcribed it like almost instantly. Let's go back. And it also has a dictation feature. Let me show you. As you can see right here, the dictation. All I have to do is press the command button. And that way I can dictate to the computer. And technically, I don't type things anymore. I'm almost always dictating. Anyhow, let's go back to the real exercise of today's training and hit enter. And now you'll see it'll write a really nice thread on how to let's say get engagement and all of these things using my own writing style, as you can see. It's doing something good enough. It's not perfect, but it's perfect enough. Here's, it's even giving me templates, which is quite nice. The setup, the meat, the pattern interrupt. Wow, this is really good. <laughs> this is really good. I, I might copy and paste it, but damn, that's really good. Anyhow, next, I'm going to copy this and I'm going back to my Notion page. Here, I can create a new page by just clicking right here. And let's say that I want to create a new email with that. So I'm going to paste all of these things. Let's paste it with format and now make it bigger. And now I have this beautiful, beautiful first thread. Now you might say, Jose, 
this takes too much time. Technically, it doesn't, but going back and forth between AIs and doing all of these things, I understand. It's, it's a pain in the butt. But now I'm going to show you the real way I do this. I'm using an app called Cursor. And Cursor is an app for coding, okay? And I'm going to use it for what exactly? For writing. And let me show you how this looks like. So let's say that now I want to create a new file. Let's call it xthread.md. MD stands for mar markdown. Whenever you see these like hash hashtags, xthread and something like this, that means that this is an H1 title, an H2, and this is H3, H4. If you know a little bit of H HTML and web and stuff like that, you understand what I'm saying. But anyhow, did you notice how all of these things showed up? This is the power of Cursor. Cursor is an app for actually coding and I use it for coding also. But I realized, hey, if I can use this for coding, which is like extremely hard, can't I use it to write words? Yes, I can. And check this out. What I'm going to do is I'm going to open what I call a cursor rule. That can you? Hopefully you can see it right there. Let me zoom in so you can see it. When you put this file inside cursor it will use that as a rule and it will try to follow it down to the t so let's zoom out and as you can see here we have the prompt that i showed you a while ago plus the writing style and a bunch of examples down below and the beauty about this is first i'm going to hide that sidebar and i'm going to open the chat of cursor and here I'm going to click Composer and I'm going to say exactly what I told the other AI. So I'm going to copy and paste this and I think you'll love it. Let's paste this right there, hit enter, and it'll now generate the content for me using my own writing style. And you can see it's very similar, very similar to what we got here. And the reason is because I'm using Claude Sonnet on Raycast and I'm also using it. Hopefully you can see it right there. I'm also using it on this app. And if I close this, you can see that I can accept or reject. Let's reject it. You see that it goes away. Command C, it shows it once again. I'm going to hit accept right now. Now, the beauty about this is that I have the first draft of this, but that's not all. If I personally don't like, let's say the examples, I can select the example, press Command K and just talk to it because I have the speech to text app. Check this out. Give me five more examples for this. I don't know, man. I, I just love this. I just love this. You see that? You see that? I can accept or reject. I can even accept it all and that's it. But let's delete all of these things because this one is more than enough. Now, since this doesn't ha have like the rosado saws, meaning it's missing a little bit of storytelling, what I can do is open once again the chat, go to the composer and right here, I can tell it a little story that happened to me on how I came up with writing the perfect X thread. And of course, I've been writing threads for five years, so I know the process. It's very simple. But the way I came about it was like this. What I'm going to do is I'm going to dictate the story to the app and you'll see how this will weave it into the content. So I'm going to do this right now with you. I'm going to press command, weave the following story to this document. I've been writing threads for the last four to five years. And what I've realized is that it's simpler than you might think. The key is to actually storytell. And I came, and the way I came up with this was by reading other people's threads. I realized that the ones that actually got my attentions were the ones that were storytelling. Ironically, I rarely story told on my threads, but after giving it a try and adding a little bit of emotions to the thread, things just went the best way possible. Now, that was a crappy story, but you get the deal. At least I'm letting you in into my into my process. As you can see, it also grabbed the crappy story thing. So let's go delete all of these and delete a few things here. Hit enter. And now it'll weave that story across these, this beautiful thread that it created quite fast. And now you'll see that it substituted the hook. You see that? Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. So I'm going to accept all of these things and I'm done. Let's remove all of these things, accept, and I am done. Now, of course, I wouldn't post this because it's, it's still missing a few things that I'm very, I'm very perfectionist when it comes to my own stuff. So I actually give it even more information so that it actually does the work that I want it to do. But what I wanted to show you was like how you can write things extremely fast with AI by using Raycast 
using these prompts I gave to you, specifically this one, which is the one that finds the unique writing style of someone, and the other one, which is actually create the piece of content with the writing style and the writing examples. And one little tip, you can add as many writing examples as you want. It could be a thousand words, two thousand words, three thousand words. Just try to give it more and more information. I think that two or three thousand words is more than enough, especially if you combine it with the writing style. So as you can see, creating content for social media, it's extremely easy today in age because the AI came into our lives and just revamped the way we worked here at my agency. Of course, I am very transparent with using AI with my clients because they know we use AI and it's not so much about what the AI feeds us, it's what we do with what it feeds us. What we try to do is create five different articles, let's say, and get the best of all of those articles and make it one really tight, important, powerful article or email or thread or sales page. Because again, you can be the AI expert in the world, but if you don't know anything about human nature, about what to say, how to say it, when to say it, there's nothing the AI can do to help you get engagement or make your writing or your videos better. Because it's not so much about the tool, but how you use the tool. But now I have a few more things I want to share with you. Look, remember, you need to download Raycast because not, here you have the spotlight replacement for Mac which is, I don't know, man, this is one of the most powerful apps I ever used. And also it comes with this beautiful chat interface with which you can talk with the AI. Also Cursor, this powerful super app that is more for coding than for writing, but you can also use for writing. And let me give you a few more tips on how to use this amazing app. Look, something else you could do is you can start typing something. Look, it even fed me. Look, it auto completes stuff. But let's say, let me tell you a secret. I hate writing threads, but I've been writing it for the, fa the last five years. You see how it's auto completing everything? And here it's adding like this red background. All I have to do is press tab and it'll delete it. Such a beautiful tool, such a beautiful tool. Something else you, I like doing with this is say that there's some transition missing between two sentences. What I literally do is this, I select these sentences and lines. I press command K and I tell it, add a transition between the bullet points and the example. I feel there's something missing. That's it. The AI will transcribe all of these things. And now I press enter and it'll add something right there. Let me show you what I mean. You see, you see it added that. And now it makes even more sense. It's not so much about the tool. It's knowing that hmm, there's something missing here. What could that be? And sometimes you get stuck with these kind of things when you're writing. But this is one of the most powerful tools I've ever used for creating content. And that's just one of the many things we do here at my agency. So if you would like to work with me one-on-one -on -one or hire my agency to work with you on your funnels and all of these beautiful systems that helps you automate, get sales, get more engagement, and also help you with creating content, I left a beautiful link down below. You can click it, you can book a call with me. It will be a one-on-one -on -one interaction between you and me where we're going to be talking about your goals, your needs, your aspirations, where you've been, where you want to be, and how we can work together to move forward and let's say grow up beautiful brand together. Anyhow, my name is Jose Ricardo Rosado. Thank you so much for watching and see you in the next one.